launch scrubs. Weather canceled today's scheduled liftoff that would carry two American astronauts to the International Space Station. Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin were strapped into the capsule, ready to go when the call was made. Hours earlier, they said goodbye to their wives and their young sons. Today's scheduled launch drew high-profile guests, including the Trumps and the Pence. Just within the past 10 minutes, the President and First Lady left on Air Force One. The next opportunity for a launch will be this weekend. The first opportunity noon at 3.22. We will bring you live coverage here on Channel 4 and on News4Jax.com starting at 3 and running until about 4 o'clock. If that gets scrubbed, the next opportunity will be Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. We have several crews covering this story. We begin with Bruce Hamilton, who's joining us live from the Cape. Bruce? Tom, they had a very narrow window to launch. They had to go at exactly 4.33. It all has to do with being able to rendezvous with the International Space Station. 16 minutes left on the clock, and they decided no go. The unofficial word is that lightning was the problem. We're going to find out more in about 20 minutes. Jim Bridenstine, the NASA administrator, is set to hold a news conference to fill us in on exactly why, but it was definitely weather related. I want to show you what's going on right now as we show you live pictures from NASA Select. The astronauts are still on board the Crew Dragon. Before they can get off safely, basically what they've got to do is offload all the uh, fuel that was on there. Let's listen to NASA Select for a second as they talk us through it. what's going on. To watch. Once that that's disarmed, those today, eight Super Draco engines will be out of the mix. Like weather Dragon, reports uh, already looking at about a 40 okay, so percent. Basically, what they're talking about is that they've got to get all that fuel off. Uh, from the nine engines that are aboard the Falcon 9. And then what's going to happen once that's safely done, once they rearm the uh, system that would al have allowed the, uh, the astronauts to escape, would there have been a problem, is they'll roll back the crew access arm, and then the crew that's on the ground right now will go up there and help the astronauts get off the true gra Dragon capsule. And keep in mind, they've got to do this from a safe social distance because like all of us here, we're mindful of the pandemic that's going on. The astronauts will go back into quarantine and then on Saturday morning, they'll basically go through the same routine that they went through today. Only their launch time will be about an hour and 10 minutes earlier, as you mentioned. 3.22 will be the launch time. Again, it will be a narrow window. And again, weather will be a concern. This is Florida. We all know that in the afternoon, Storms, thunderstorms, and lightning can fire up. I took a look at the weather forecast. It seems like there's a bit less of a chance for rain on Saturday afternoon. If the weather gets in the way again, then Sunday is the next best chance. Three o'clock is the time to fly then. After that, they've not given us any you know, guidance as to when they would be able to go ahead and put the Crew Dragon team in orbit. Now, Air Force One, about five minutes ago, I looked to the north and it was taken off from the Kennedy Space Center. The President and First Lady were here, as was Vice President Mike Pence and his wife. And uh, the Vice uh, President, I believe, is still on Kennedy Space Center property. But President Trump and Melania Trump took off about 10 minutes ago, and we looked to the skies, and there was Air Force One flying off. You know, I wondered aloud, you know, where they landed, and it struck me that the shuttle landing facility, which is one of the uh, longest airstrips in the area, probably accommodated Air Force One. And I do know that the astronauts' families got a chance to meet with the, the president and the vice president uh, before the mission was aborted. And the astronauts' families actually weren't supposed to be here initially to watch their husbands take off. And the astronauts' wives uh, are actually astronauts themselves, but they made accommodations for them to be here. I'm wondering if they'll probably stay, given the launch is just a couple of short days away. And the answer is probably yes. Both these astronauts have two young kids, age six and eight. And interestingly enough, Tom, uh, the astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, had to get permission from their kids to go ahead and fly. And both gave them a thumbs up. So we'll be back here on the Space Coast on Saturday, and hopefully then the weather will cooperate and we'll get a chance to see history in the making as for the first time in nine years, U.S. astronauts fly from 
U.S. soil and will no longer be dependent on the Russians to get us to the International Space Station. Reporting live from the Space Coast along the banks of the Indian River, Bruce Hamilton, Channel 4, the local station. Now we just need Mother Nature to give them the thumbs up. Thanks, Bruce. People who gathered along the Space Coast will have to wait a few more days to witness this historic space flight. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson joins us live in Titusville. And Scott, no doubt there's some disappointment there. A lot of disappointment, Mary. The spot where I was on, there's a few dozen people there. There were hundreds and thousands of people here until 4.20 or so when they said no go. And immediately people just got on out of here. The only people I've been able to keep around. Come on, guys, over. I and My kids were out here along with their friends, Ethan and Lily, to watch this. They've been here all day. They came down to see me do this and watch the shuttle go up. Or the, I'm sorry, not the shuttle, the, Fal the Falcon rocket go up and it didn't you guys disappointed with this you were sitting there watching history yeah a little bit you disappointed did, did, like you spent all day waiting for this and then the falcon doesn't go in fact, up. we've been waiting here for two days full just sitting in a hotel waiting for this and nothing happened i am really disappointed because we have been waiting in a hotel and i've been really excited for this you were excited for this one yeah this was supposed to be a, a historic event and i wanted to be here and see it and i'll just have to try next time try next time so that's what a lot of people are doing so they're talking about this saturday launch thanks guys as thousands of people and i've talked to a lot who say they're going to come back out for this saturday's launch or the sunday backup launch is the third option so it has just been a lot of disappointment i had to utilize these guys because most everyone who was here ready to speak with me when the launch happened got on out of here as soon as they heard the launch was off so we're live in titusville scott johnson channel 4 the local station